Reactions Idiots, I'm Corbin. As with me as always is this gully boy named Rick. Gully boy! Gully boy! If you know about channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. <laughs> Please follow us on our various social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> for that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so uh, today it was a big day. It was. We watched Gully Boy in the theater. This was our first experience watching a India film yes. in a theater. Yes. Uh, and so the way that we're going to do the review is the first half is going to be non spoilers. Correct for those of you who haven't seen it because it's the just majority came out. of you. Yep. Uh, and then I will put up an alert that says spoiler. Uh, and then that's when we will start talking about spoiler stuff. So yeah, talk about this you've stuff. been warned. Yep. Um, so yeah, the, um, I thought the whole, st I was almost transfixed the whole time. I agree with you. I, I, I loved every second of it. Every um, second of it. I didn't it. really notice until they put an intermission in the middle of it. <laughs> right. Which wasn't really an intermission. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing in India cinema that they might actually take a little break because this intermission, yeah, this is kind of a spoiler, I don't know. No, this doesn't count as that. No, it's just, that it was, it said, it, it was almost a SpongeBob intermission. The middle of it, it just came up and it said intermission. intermission. And then it For went For five away. seconds and it went away and it kept going. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Two uh, months later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the whole cast, uh, the story, was great. And I, obviously we went into it uh, knowing absolutely zero Right. About this. Right. I, we don't well, know. Other who, than the trailer. Other than the trailer. We right. don't know who this the artist right. was. Nope. Uh, we don't know the story. We don't know anything. Don't know the history of, of rap in India or hip-hop. Yeah. And, but and I, I think one of the things that struck me most outside of the acting uh, was the immersion of uh, the world yeah. that they put you in. Because they filmed it in yes. whatever, uh, I think... D um, does some, um, I forget what's it. I want to say, yeah. Uh, Mumbai. Sorry, it's Mumbai. Mumbai, yeah. okay. Um, they filled it in Mumbai, and you could just tell it was so confined and so um, yeah. claustrophobic almost. We'll say something about that in the spoiler yeah. moment. Yeah, um, but it, you were just kind of immersed in that world, and it's you know, a world that we don't know very well. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk about the ensemble, shall we? Go ahead. Let's talk about the acting being actors who love acting and good acting. So the person what who an ensemble stole the show for both of us, without question, was uh, Alia... Bat. Bat? Yeah, it's gotta be Bat. Alia Bat. Alia Bat. Uh, who plays... Uh, Safina. Safina. Um, she is a gem. Phenomenal. India, you've got a gem on your hands. Uh, that and she was, was in, she was in Zero, and she was also in uh, Razi. We want to see her yeah, do some American films. Yeah. <laughs> She's so... Everybody... See, here's the thing. We agree. There, there wasn't anybody in it that gave a bad performance. In fact, a lot of the supporting things were... His mom and dad yeah. were fantastic. So was the, the guy who plays Moeen, his friend. Yeah. Uh, so, but signaling her out, there were just points. And it, part of it is her, her role, her character. Uh, she's got a great role. She's got a great role. Uh, a very but, strong, independent woman. Exactly. Who, uh, but she never had a false moment. Oh. I mean, she just never has a false moment. The, the relationship. Again, what? Yeah. I'm saving for the spoiler section some other stuff. The relationship she had with her parents was um, yeah. quite interesting. They come from a, a Muslim family. Mm -hmm. um, and and spoilers. So, yeah, that's not a spoiler. Well, <laughs> I'm just being careful. But obviously we know that uh, it was interesting to see that, that world uh, mm -hmm. and that perspective because we don't get a lot of that here, at least an authentic, Sadly, an authentic depiction, depiction yeah. of Muslim life and in India. The, the combination, I thought it was an amazing combination from our perspective to see things that we are oblivious to here in America as far as what life is like for, for people in India, but also how similar life is like mm -hmm. in India. Yeah. It, it's this interesting blend of, on the one hand, it's so different and we know so little about it because we're not exposed to it, but at the same time, it's so similar to some of the, it's universal. Yeah. And I found the film was far more universally appealing oh, yeah. to anybody who would see it. I think anybody here in America who saw that could, there's no way you could walk away from this movie not no. loving it. Yeah, I'll, another point is the, the, the music in it. 
Oh, I mean, so some of those songs, I believe, are their actual songs. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the actual rapper songs. But the, the last one will just give you kind of goosebumps. Goosebumps. <laughs> Because absolutely like, it will. Is, I'm this going is freaking fantastic. I listened to it after we left. I the did field. too. That's why I've got my phone yeah, out I, because I, I created a playlist, and on my playlist I've got stuff from Three Idiots, and I've got KGF, and then right there the last two are from what we just saw today. And yeah. I was I was listening to it. Yeah, the that, whole drive. That last one is, as the kids <laughs> say, a banger. Yeah, or as they say in there, the lyrics in that are hard. What? <laughs> the whole time. It was one of the lingo th phrases they threw around. Anyway, it's but, a yeah. tight, awesome lyric. It's we, hard. The the story, the acting, the writing, the directing, everything. Obviously, the cinematography was Always. phenomenal. But the writing, is, yeah, the script was of great. the films we've watched. This is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, it's it, it, everything was top notch. And if it was an American, it could have been nominated for an Oscar again. Um, just like Pink type film. Oh. Yeah. All right, so should we dive into some spoilers? Um, so, yeah, uh, we will dive into some spoilers now, but I would give it about a 4.5. Mm -hmm. I will go into my depths of what I didn't... I had some... Th my issues with it. There aren't a lot. But <laughs> and for me, the signal for me about a movie is twofold if I love the movie. I, number one, I want to go see it again, and I'm listening to the music, and I can't get it out of my head afterwards. And then the other big one is I immediately want to take people I know and care about to go see the movie again. And that's how I felt. But do they want to go with one. you? Yes, they do, because everyone loves to be in a movie theater with me. Except him. This is your spoiler warning. Here we go. They all died. Yeah, everybody in the movie. What? Wow. Everyone's this dead. It's so brutal. It's worse than Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the uh, uh, kind of more of the in-depth spoiler talk. Uh, if you've already seen the film, or if you already know the story, I'm sure a lot of you already do. So let me share a moment that I love that she did, and it's such a simple little moment. Okay, when she does this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of our, I think, favorite parts of this film are uh, from uh, Aaliyah. How do you say? It? Aaliyah, yeah, Aaliyah's perspective. The yes. Who plays Safina? Safina. Yeah. Um, Every time she's on screen, you're just mesmerized, freaking transfixed. Yes, and, and it's it's crazy when you're first introduced to her on the um, bus. On the bus, uh, you, we don't know anything about her, right? At all, we just think, oh, this is a lot uh, other than of other her. than the obvious. She's got a very pretty face, pretty face, yeah. And oh, it looks like. They're gonna have love interest at some right. point. Blah blah blah. They look at each other, mm -hmm. and then she's like not sitting down. And then she goes over, she sits down. And I'm like, oh, she's an aggressive girl. And then they just start holding, <laughs> holding hands. hands and listening. I'm like, and so wow, is this what, is this how it works yeah. in India? <laughs> we looked at each other. And was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you make eye contact with some girl, and then she just walks over and listens to you. She's my wife did. now. Yep, we're married. <laughs> That's how it happens on the bus. Yeah, but uh, so I thought the the way that it was introduced was really cool yeah they obviously oh now they actually have a relationship going on right but uh the whole relationships that uh she had with almost everyone i thought was great because she commanded each relationship she sure did the abusive relationship she had i mean i don't here in america that would be a very abusive relationship with her parents absolutely but i don't know how both of their relationships with their parents yeah, were yeah. abusive i don't know the culture differences there's a lot of hitting right uh, <laughs> right uh in at least in this film mm -hmm. um and all that kind of stuff but uh, she commanded each relationship with um <laughs> just did what she want with it mm -hmm. she, she told her she said, don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna do what i want to and so we love that fierceness in her and we're She's quickly became one of my Wait, favorite Bollywood actresses. Absolutely, because she goes from what you think is this meek, submissive, quiet girl, and then she walks into the, the girl's work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, just I like, like this girl. Bashing her head, and then she goes in and... When the guy cheats on her, yeah. and then she quickly figures out, yeah, uh, because it was obvious, and then <laughs> she just smacks her over the head with a bottle. bottle. And before that, when she's talking to her, she's like, "Be quiet, shut up, yeah, don't talk to me." That part of the film, I was like, "Oh, I don't like this guy anymore." What's I know what, what's wrong with it? But I also she understood. She quickly forgave him. She really did, and I also understood, and I loved uh, his description. I thought that was really beautiful, and I liked the girl that played Sky. That character. Yeah, her I thought she did really well. And her, that character's response, the way that was written, when he said, not having her in my life is mm -hmm. like not having a childhood. Yeah. And you can see in Skye's face the registration of, 
guy's gone. He's in love. This yeah. is not going to happen. Yeah. 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 She, uh, she was another really good supporting character. As, yeah, I thought was, the, uh, the best friend, uh, um, what's his face? Mo, 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 Moeen. Moeen. Yes. Uh, did phenomenal. I thought Fantastic. he, I thought his character was really cool. Honestly, even though he was really, really good, I thought the main guy who played Gully Boy, um, was probably the weakest. Yeah. We, which is, which is, we don't mean that as an insult. Yeah, he did really well. He did extremely well. It's just the rest of the cast. Was right. It would be like an, it'd be like an American film where. But he we, might have been just been playing a more reserved character. Very maybe. true. That could have just been. It like, would have been a film in America. This would have been a film where all of the buzz would have been about her as the supporting actress, and she would have gotten all the nominations. And you don't know if he would have gotten nominations, but. That doesn't mean he wasn't great. Yeah. Because I thought he was fantastic yeah. in the role. And I wouldn't want to see anybody else in that role. I think he fit that role. Uh -huh. But as far as the one that just blew me out of the water, yeah. it was her. It was her. Yeah. Um, but it was... it was. I do have a question. My, my biggest issue with the film... Um, Which I didn't have a big issue. Yeah, it's not really a big issue. Honestly, it's just some... When I was watching it, I was like, there's something weird going on that I don't understand. There was no cussing in the film. Yeah, there was at the opening. There was a lot at the very opening. Where? Oh, all over the place. At the very beginning. And I noticed it because of another movie I've seen you haven't seen yet. Um, anyways, but the rest of the film there wasn't. Correct. But the uh, opening, the opening five minutes had quite a lot of cussing. I didn't even see that. Anyways, but I, I thought it was kind of weird because here in the rap culture in America, that culture yeah, is it, just, it, you're, you're, it's if you see it just, straight out of Compton, you know what we're talking it, it's about. It's just part of the language, right? Uh, and so it seemed out of place to not have that in around it. I, I, but then I, they did say something. They said they banned cussing in rap. One of the guys, uh, the guy who played Shh, the lion guy, yeah, he said they banned because he was dissing him. He's like, I know why they banned cussing right. in rap. Uh, be blah blah blah. So I don't know if that was part of it. I didn't know if what this was actually rated. But I, I can tell you without ruining anything. One of the other movies I've watched that you haven't seen yet is a film that at, at every other level would be considered a rated R film, except for the language. Mm -hmm. And it's almost we'll talk about this in that review. It's it was almost comical to me mm -hmm. because you expect that because we in our R rated films here they're loaded with language. But I believe, based on the exposure we've had in such little time, I believe that there definitely is, whether it's been a, a legitimate ban in the country or just an artistic choice, because culturally, they're, what I've learned is how deeply they respect people. I mean, you can see it in our comments. Yeah, yeah. My Instagram posts and our comments on our are all, sir, there's, yeah. there's such respect and politeness. Mm -hmm. And that, re that respect and politeness is for human life. Yeah. And... The power of words and the appreciation of knowledge and how words convey knowledge, I think they have a very different perspective on the power of words than we do. And vulgarity becomes something that will completely shut somebody off mm. from a film. That they just, it's, it's too insulting for them to handle it. Well, let me know, please. Yeah, I'd really love to know that as well. Um, like I said, it's not really an issue. It doesn't make the film bad at all. At all. Uh, <laughs> it was just no. something that was like, it, it seems weird to me. You know what? Was and now that you say that, this shows you how good this film actually is. Because ordinarily, if you were to tell a story like this, that it talked about street and rap and you didn't have vulgarity, I would write it off as not being a realistic film. Mm -hmm. And I believed every single moment I watched of this yeah. film. So I, so I, like I said, I don't know if it's a different culture, basically. Yeah. And, uh, but I, it didn't, I, I didn't feel like... I don't know if this they, rapper doesn't cuss. I don't know. Yeah, and I, I didn't feel like they weren't being honest or real. And it didn't even dawn on me that they weren't cussing that much yeah. at that point. Yeah. That's the only thing. Anyways, like we said, please go see this film. Yeah, it's a support this movie. It's a phenomenal film. We yes. both loved it. Yeah. I give it a 4.5 to five stars yeah it was great great loved it loved it loved, loved it, it loved it gonna see it again it's just fantastic and that young lady is a jewel yes good stuff india namaste namaste <laughs>